Ashton. The First Minister for that answer. So if I'm understanding this correctly, according to the amendments that were published yesterday, even if the Scottish Parliament expressly refuses consent, so let's say every single MSP in this place votes against having its hands tied by Westminster on matters to do with fishing or the environment or GM crops, the UK government could take that express refusal yeah. as the green light that it needs to go ahead and impose these restrictions anyway. Surely no party that has any respect for this parliament or for the devolution settlement could sign up to that. First Minister. Well, Ash Denham is right in her interpretation and, well, look, the, the amendments are public. Every member of this chamber, and I hope before there is any vote on this, every member of this chamber will pay close attention to these amendments. It is not a requirement under these amendments for the UK government uh, to obtain our consent. It's simply a requirement for them to allow us to make a consent decision, but a consent decision could include a decision by this parliament to refuse consent. So if we say no, they can go ahead and do it anyway. That's a pretty strange definition of consent and not one that I have previously been uh, familiar with.